Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, I'm sure. Um, well, I got to ask you about the elephant in the room. Obviously, I haven't spoken to you to, since the fight with with Malikin. I don't know if you've really spoken to anybody since then, um, but uh, at least in terms of interviews, obviously. But uh, obviously didn't go as planned. I mean, by your estimation, what happened in there? Uh, I got caught, man. <laughs> <laughs> I hear I that happens up. in MMA. <laughs> yeah. I fucked up. Yeah, man. I did fuck up. That's, uh, that's what happened. Um, like... Um, after one of the first uh, punches I got hit with, um, I just wasn't myself. Uh, mm -hmm. Made a few mistakes uh, entering into the pocket, and um, yeah, just came up short. Got got hit, got hurt, and um, that's what it is. Yeah, I mean, it, it happens in this sport, as as everyone always says, and you handled it with total class and dignity, as always. Um, I mean, from from cage side, it looked like you know the problem for me was just obviously that you, you got tagged early and then the the takedowns didn't come quite as easily as you thought. I mean, no, but the takedowns kind of... were fucking sloppy too, man. It was oh, shit. That wasn't me. That was wasn't that a product me. of being being hit early, like yeah. yeah well, so... and there's a lot of stuff. Um, of course, if something like this happens, you you um, you rethink everything you do, um, and there's a lot of stuff that that I could have done better preparing for that matchup. Look, mm -hmm. um, I after 16 wins, kind of beating everybody pretty easily. Um, I might have gotten a bit too cocky. I thought I can I can do this to anybody in the world easily. So I take this this fight, a weight class up on five weeks notice. I don't really really have pre time to prepare. I don't really have time to um, to gain weight. The guy has 10 kilos on me in the in the fight. I, I just a bit of a bit more than I could chew. Mm -hmm. uh, it seems like already though you're you're kind of you know gleaning wisdom and, and lessons from that experience. Like, is, do you see this as something that's going to make you a better fighter? No, nah, it's making me a better fighter already, man. Really, yeah. I really I've, I've really taken a lot of steps, and mm -hmm. um, that's weird to say, but maybe before the fight, I didn't do as much as I as I could have, and um, which is not not typical for me so um well all in all um what i've taken from it is i can be a little bitch and whine about it for uh for the next couple of years or i can set st things straight learn from this grow and i intend on being the best fighter in the world still and i mm -hmm. intend to revenge this loss Mm -hmm. Well, I certainly believe you can do it. Now, I don't. I don't want to spend all morning talking about that fight. I'm sure it's a bit of a sore spot for you, but uh, no, it's okay, know, man. It's okay. Everybody, I talk to everybody about this, and it's it's good to be reminded of it. Uh, though I don't need any reminding because I think about it mm -hmm. a lot, of course. But um, mm -hmm. I want to put it in a in a positive spotlight. I want um, I want to make this something positive instead of uh, hanging around and whining mm -hmm. about the negative stuff. Well, I appreciate your openness and your candor, certainly, as always. Um, you know, I, Nick and I were, were cage side for that one. And it was a bit of a scary scene as you were leaving. You know, they had you on the stretcher and yeah. it just scary scene, especially, you know, we consider you a friend of the site at this point. You know, what was going through your mind kind of do you remember anything from from the end of that fight? And what were the kind of hours after that fight like for you? Where does it kind of start getting clearer for you? Well, it was pretty quick in the back. Uh, was um, That's what I remember again. There's bits and pieces of the fight itself, I remember. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. And after that, I was I was pretty much okay straight away. Uh, back to normal pretty quickly. Didn't really have any complaints um, as far as uh, headaches or nausea or whatever. Um, as you can hear, I'm still kind of coherent uh, speaking-wise. So... Um, I'm think I think I'm okay, but I, I really want to um, recover well from this. So uh, that's what I'm focused on right now. So, I yeah, so I, I'm just starting to kickbox a bit again, but I'm really really careful of getting hit. I just want to. Um, well, it's the first time I've ever been hit basically in a fight uh, in a mm -hmm. bad way. Um, so I want to I, I want to do everything to to recover well from this.